Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Monday, September 21st, 2020, and I'm going to be speaking my thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, let's start a new week of puzzles. Musical pieces for one instrument. Maybe solos? Let's see, goes down as the sun, that sets for sure. Brownish yellow is um, ochre. A large hybrid cat. Uh, not seeing it instantly. A liger. Uh, cool. That's always fun to be reminded that ligers exist. Literary heroine who cries curiouser and curiouser. Is that Alice? Uh, Tony who played for 15 seasons with the Minnesota Twins. I'm gonna need some crosses for that one. Less risky. Maybe sane? Oh, safer. I was gonna say saner, but safer makes a lot more sense. Uh, like getting a $2 bill in change. That's rare, so I spelled ochre wrong. All right. Uh, to the greatest extent is ever so. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know this. It looks like fight, though. Time to watch boxing on TV. Fight night? Okay. Fight night. So this is our first theme answer. It rhymes. Don't really know what else to say about that. I've never heard someone say fight night, but I believe that... You know, I believe it's a thing. So i um, curious to see where this is going. I assume all the themers are going to rhyme, but we probably get more than that. There's probably a reason for their rhyming. Witness to the first rainbow in the Bible. That's Noah. Oops. Noah. All right. What else? Kind of pond. Yeah, that's koi. Small work unit is an erg. L sound in a long, empty hallway is an echo. Okay. Enthusiastic. Keen, I guess. That's an orca. Alliance headquartered in Brussels is NATO. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Ooh. Rooster's mate is a hen. This is definitely a Monday easy puzzle. Modern request to attend. Is that an... Oh, an evite. Okay. Look at these long stacks on the... That's kind of rare for a Monday. I doubt they're theme related, but these long stacks on the... Uh, top right and bottom left are pretty rare. Also, it kind of gives the puzzle a misshapen look, but I'm counting squares. Yeah, it looks like it is 15 by 15. It's just uh, rare to get such wide open space on a Monday. All right, Bird and Liberty Mutual ads. Is that an emu? Vases are urns. Bear whose bed is too soft. It's got to be Mama Bear. Okay, shoot out. Shoot, oh, emit. Okay. And then dot, maybe? Now I should be able to get these. Pepsi challenge is a taste test. Nice answer, and uh, I like the clue. This clue is good. It's like, it reminds us all of something we remember from the past. Um, it tells a story, but it's very easy. It's Monday. It's Monday appropriate. Paradoxical response to a door knock. I'm not here. This, on the other hand, is a bit of a strange clue for I'm not here. Not sure what I think about this entry or this clue. Not bad, but just a little off somehow. Annual New Orleans celebration is Mardi Gras. Overall, this is a beautiful stack over here. Mardi Gras, I'm not here in taste test. Well done on a Monday. One of the housewives. Brie, maybe? Emanations to be picked up are vibes. All right, an asset is on the plus side. Ingratiates. A uh, slingy pronoun. Huh. Oh, so we have another kind of knight. One rushing in to save the day. Oh, it's a white knight. I see. So is it going to be all things? So it's going to be all things that rhyme with knight. And they're going to be two word phrases made up of things that rhyme with knight. That's interesting. If there are actually four solid phrases that do this, that's pretty cool. Gulped. Maybe eight. Uh, in... ETD or an ETA. Oops. Glittery edition, that's tinsel. So it's probably ETA. Name your price. When doubled a popular number puzzle is Ken Ken. Okay, come out. Emerge. Endears, I should have seen that earlier. Slangy pronoun. Dad? No, dad isn't a pronoun. Why am I not seeing this? Strange. All right, repeated question from an owl. <laughs> okay, that's just that's just a silly joke, but I kind of like it. 
uh, mess up. No, Cuban line dance. Let's see. Tears out of the ground. Unroots, maybe? Unroots. Explosive stuff is TNT. Near at hand? B6 is ale. Okay, this looks like light. It makes your pupils constrict. Bright light, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, these are cool. Fight night, white night, bright light. What's the last one gonna be? I think fright hasn't been used, but I've heard of fright night for like a night. Maybe a fright sight? What is it gonna be? Uh, hip? Hawaiian kind of porch. Okay, Cuban, is that a conga, conga line? Noggin is bean. They're both slang for your head. Mess up. Botch. All right, now let's get these long downs. Foamy drink, bubble tea. Very nice entry. One standing by in an infomercial. What's that? I don't think I know. And then railroad station is a train. I was going to say depot, but that doesn't. Train what? Train stop? Venusians, these are ETs. Carry is tote. Oops. Tote. Curve on the road is probably an S. That's Eros. Snakes spawned by Medusa's blood. That's Asps. And so it's one. Raiders? Do I have something wrong here? One standing by. Owner Raiders? Confused by this. I don't know what this word means. One raiders, owner raiders. But I, all the crosses look good to me. Yeah, this is kind of confusing. Well, let's see if uh, if at the end I get a me an error message or if this is all correct. Uh, motion accompanying the words there, there is pat. Okay, what's this one gonna be? Precisely. So one of them is going to be right. It's not going to be quite right. Ah, there it is. Very nice. The simplest of themes, but uh, but I like it. It also somehow feels like I haven't seen this before. Citrus fruit that won't win any beauty contests. Ugly. Okay, tugs. Requests or asks. What's this? Kind and ilk. My country tis of thee. Walk in the woods. A hike. Yep. Martial art with a belt system. That's karate. Stay in touch? Not sure. Frito lay. Okay, horse developed in the desert. I don't know what that is. For stringers is A team. Alright, I've got this. Let me maybe? Ethan Hunt. Stay in touch is feel, I guess. Enthusiastic is eager. Carried is born. Arab. Okay, so something's wrong. So what is this? Uproots and operators. Ugh, I don't know why I wasn't seeing that. The moment I was just told that something was definitely wrong, I somehow like had a new light on this. Everything seemed good, but yeah, uproots is obviously the answer. Unroots, I don't know what I was thinking. And operators are standing by. Yeah, that was that was a total brain lapse right there. This is um this is a nice Monday theme. I mean, it's as simple as you get. Like rhyming words has been the subject of you know probably hundreds of crossword themes over the years. Um, so it's hard to make it original. And I'm not even sure how original this is, but it's just kind of nice. Like. I don't know, every single, every theme entry, there's a two word phrase where both words rhyme with night. That's pretty cool. I was, am kind of surprised that there are four such legitimate phrases. Um, Fight night is the one that seems the least familiar to me, but I totally believe it's a real thing. White night, obviously, bright light and quite right. These are great. Uh, and I think it's also important that um, these be like longer words like th these words that are rhyming are like it looks like five six letters long i feel like this could be easier if you did it with like a three letter word um i don't know like you know uh boo boo tutu -tu, you know, cuckoo kind of thing um whereas the fact that these are all sort of long words makes the phrases more interesting makes the fact that there are eight different words that rhyme with it more interesting um 
Yeah, as far as like a new a rhyming theme on a Monday, I'm pretty happy with this, and I think I think uh, this is well constructed. Uh, I thought the fill in this thing was very clean. Um, these long triple stacks of what is this nine letters each? Um, that's the kind of stuff you see on a themeless puzzle, not on a Monday puzzle. Um, and they're all used pretty well. You know, they're not exactly themeless quality entries, all of them. But actually, I don't know. Mardi Gras um, and Taste Test are great. Bubble Tea is great. Um, train Stop is solid. Operators is a little, you know, dry, but that's fine. And I'm not here. I'm sort of mixed about it. I feel like people are going to be split on that one. Uh, but overall, I think the, the fill is, is quite nice. Um, uproots is also a good term, tinsel. So uh, this, is, this is a very well-filled Monday puzzle. It's interesting. So this was made by Daniel Larson, who I believe made last Friday's puzzle. Um, so he's having a good week and looks like it's made co-made with the Wave Learning Festival crossword class. And I do not know what this is. Uh, I have seen crossword puzzles made by classes before, um, but it's a cool concept to me that I guess people go in to learn how to make a crossword puzzle and then they somehow all collaboratively work on one together and get a, a crossword publication out of it. That's, that's a really nice thing and um, brings a lot more people into the fold, so that's always cool to see. None of the clues particularly stood out to me on this one. I really flew through this. It was just quite a breeze. Uh, nothing, I don't think anything held me up. What was this though? Oh, dat, slangy pronoun, I see. Like who dat kind of thing. Um, that's a little odd, but uh, for the most part, I think I think the cluing on this was all Monday easy. Nothing particularly stood out. Um, and, and yeah, just a very pleasant, breezy way to start the week. So um, I'm excited to see what the rest of the week brings, and I hope you are as well. I will be back here tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.